Right, I don't know, I don't know about you, but I have got so many of these lying about, buttons that I've made with things, and I've made too many, and I've made too many puffs, and I've made too many Suffolk puffs, and so I've just got them, they're not just lying about, but they're on a shelf in a cabinet I've got, and then if you go to get something out, invariably they roll around, or they fall out, or, so I've been racking my brains about how I could keep them, now this is only, probably, a tenth of what I've got, I mean literally I have got so much, many of these things hanging about um, so I thought I might stitch some of them to a bit of cloth, I thought it might look nice but it would also keep them secure and if I stitch them on individually if I need one I can just snip it off can't I? So this is a massive one, I can't remember what I made that for, probably as part of my button class so I'm literally just gonna tie it tie them all individually onto here and not only will it keep them more secure, it'll also, it also might be really nice to look at from time to time. To meditate upon, perhaps. So literally just a couple of little ties on the back. And then cut it off. Now I don't know if I'll get all, because I'm going to try and limit this to five minutes, this video. Maybe I should try the Guinness World Records for how many buttons I can stitch on in five minutes. This is a little toggle again that I made in the button class um, so I don't know how many like I say that I'll get stitched on in five minutes but good job I'm not going for a Guinness world record if I keep dropping them isn't it so and then like I say if I need one of these let's tie this one on first And then I'll show you what I'll do, although it's not exactly rocket science. Um, right, so what I would do is come and just lift it slightly and snip the thread in there with my small scissors and um, take the one off that I need. But already I like how it's looking. Um, some gingham ones here, there's a lot of gingham going on so this one can go here but I mean it's going to be a nice little piece of cloth in its own right and then next time I go in my cupboard and pull something out these aren't going to all fall out and especially the puffs, the padded puffs these ones are not going to just roll all over the floor Although my floor is clean, I assure you my floor is clean. So that's that one on. I think I'll put something on a bit different now because there's a lot of gingham going on. I've got a dorset button here that I made in button class. That can go on. I've got a few of those. <clears throat> got another bit of thread. So if I could get even like a quarter of the buttons and puffs I've got done today that would be a bonus, you know. So, I think I'll put it over here. Tie that one on. Just, so that's how it's looking so far. I mean, it's quite a nice little gathering, isn't it? I think. That one can go there. That needs to go that way. I think what I'm going to do with this one, the back's a bit raggy on this, so I'm going to take it through the back like that. And then take this one down through the cloth. and then get the other one but these big ones especially you just have to look at them when you open the cupboard and they fall out so do that like that pull that quite tight because of that yeah that's alright 
But I'll just love this cloth now, this bit of cloth, even though it's only got those few little things on it. It just feels really nice in your hand because there's some weight on it. Um, it's got quite a, a weight to it. Um, that there. I mean, what? that's really good, isn't it? That's a really quick exercise. Oh, I've gone over five minutes. So what I'll do is I'll just put one of these on. It's already got threads attached and then I'll leave it at that for the video. But then obviously, off camera, I can add more. And I really, really like it. Believe it or not, this came to me this morning when I was sweeping out my kitchen floor. Because I opened the back door and it's a little bit windy and half the, the garden blows in leaves and stuff. So, and this came to me because I wasn't thinking about leaves, I was thinking about just being in the cupboard and all the buttons getting scattered. And this would keep them all in the same place as well because I've got some in that cupboard, I've got some in another like little box. Um, so, oh, now see that's, I really, really like that. And in your hand, it's just lovely. Oh yeah, I'm pleased with myself about that. So this is only a small piece of cloth, so I'd need like, I can't stop talking, can I? I'd probably need like maybe five or six pieces of this cloth. But that's how it would look. Oh yes, happy happy.